Good morning, Earthlings. Welcome to our virtual classroom. How are you today? Good. I am Teacher Tony, your subject teacher for today's lesson. Today, we will start a new chapter in Health 6. Are you all excited to learn new things? Great. But before we start, let us offer today's lesson to our Creator with a short prayer. Lord God, thank you so much for giving us another day to study and prepare for a good life in the future. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic which caused a lot of changes in our lives. Bless our parents who work hard to support us. Bless our teachers who are doing their best to inspire and guide us especially in these trying times. Bless our country and the people who continue fighting to stop the pandemic. Lord, fill us with your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Give us good memory so that we might understand and remember what we are going to study now. These we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Today's lesson is all about poor environmental sanitation and its impact to individual's health. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain how poor environmental sanitation could negatively affect one's health. In order for you to do this, you just need to follow these three simple steps. Stop, look, and listen. Now say it with me. Stop, look, and listen. One more time. Stop, look, and listen. Great! Stop! You need to stop or refrain from doing things other than today's lesson. Focusing on today's lesson will help you better understand it. Look! Look for important details that will be shown on today's video lesson. It will help for you to have your notepad and pencil to jot down those important details. And lastly, you need to listen. Listen attentively to the discussion. Follow these three simple steps and I will assure you that you will acquire new knowledge and learning. Now on to the lesson. the discussion by playing a simple game called 4 Picks, 1 Word. Word number one is 
overpopulation. Did you guess it correctly? Good job! Now here's our next mystery word. Mystery word number four is Sanitation Yes, you got it right Now here's our final and last mystery word Good luck In your science class, you have learned that a certain rise on the number of population can bring abrupt changes in the environment. This is a known fact in all species, including us human. Over time, the number of human population had rapidly exceeded its sustainable size. This condition is known as overpopulation. Our world has a total human population of 7.9 billion and projected to continuously increase in the next five years. The Philippines alone has 110.6 million as of 21st of March 2021 based on Worldometer, with Manila considered as the most congested city in developing Asia. Wow! That is a huge number of human population. How about your area? Do you have any idea how many residents are there? 
Do you consider your barangay overpopulated? If yes, why do you think so? Is Angeles City considered congested? And what would be the possible effect of overpopulation in our environment? You may write down your answers on your notepad. Now, let's continue watching. The effect of overpopulation does not only end on having small or crowded space to live in. It can also pose a more serious threat in our environment and in our health. One of the serious effects of overpopulation is the shortage on the consumable resources such as food, land, air, and water. In addition, human activities has brought increasing amount of waste products that contributes to environmental degradation. These waste products, when improperly disposed, produces pollutants, toxic materials, and greenhouse gases, leading to air, land, and water pollution. This type of pollution contaminates our food, the air we breathe, and the water we drink, leading to serious health problems and diseases. Furthermore, overcrowded spaces with poor environmental sanitation is also said to be of great breeding ground for deadly viruses, a known truth which we are all familiar with. Let's have a quick recap of what you have learned from the previous video. Kindly read the questions aloud and write down your answers on your notepad. Here's question number one. Question number two. And question number three. Now, on to the next. Diseases and disorders caused by poor environmental sanitation. Here are the four common disorders and diseases caused by poor environmental sanitation. Respiratory diseases, skin diseases, gastrointestinal diseases, and neurological impairments. Respiratory diseases One of the common respiratory sickness that is an effect of poor environmental sanitation is the common cold o mas kilala sa tawag na sipon. When you experience itching or sore throat, sneezing, nasal congestion, runny nose, watery eyes, and mucus drainage, then your symptoms are of the common cold. It is a viral infection of the upper respiratory tract caused by many different viruses. Gastrointestinal Diseases It refers to diseases involving the gastrointestinal tract. Ang uri ng sakit na ito ay may kinalaman sa ating tiyan, lalamunan, at bituka. Kasama din dito ang rectum and the accessory organs of digestion, ang ating atay, gallbladder, at pancreas. These diseases are caused by poor personal hygiene, poor environmental sanitation, and limited access to clean water. Diarrhea It is the opposite of constipation and is sometimes called intestinal flu. Ito ay ang kondisyon na ating nararanasan na ang karaniwang sintomas ay ang pagtatae. Some of the cause of the infection are viruses, bacteria, and other organisms and contaminated food. Dysentery is an infectious disease o nakahahawang sakit 
that pass through the ingestion of food and water that has been contaminated. Ang paglipat ng sakit na ito ay madalas nakukuha mula sa kamay ng mga tao na infected ng sakit na dysentery. It is commonly found when people are crowded together and have access only to primitive sanitary facilities. Amoebiasis Amoebiasis is caused by a protozoan or a single-cell parasite which invades the large intestine. Ang protozoan ay isang uri ng parasitiko na nakapapasok sa ating katawan sa pamamagitan ng mga kontaminadong pagkain. Amoebiasis cause stomach pains, cramping, and bloody diarrhea. Schistosomiasis Schistosomiasis is a disease caused by parasitic worms. Some parasites enter the body through skin and make their way to the intestines where they breed and cause infection. Nakukuha natin ang sakit nito kung tayo ay lulublob at maguhugas ng ating mga kamay sa mga kontaminadong tubig kung saan nananahanan ang mga mikrobyo at parasitiko. Skin diseases. The skin is the largest organ of the body that contains the nerve that sends pain, cold, and heat. When the skin comes in contact with pollutants, it results to some illnesses like eczema, scabies, and ringworms. Ang mga nabanggit na karamdaman ay karaniwang nagpapakita ng sintomas ng panunuyo, pangangati, at pamumula ng ating mga balat. Neurological impairments Kapag sinabing neurological impairments, ito ay uri ng sakit na may kinalaman sa ating utak at spinal cord. One cause of this problem is mercury poisoning. Ang mercury ay isang uri ng nakalalason na likidong metal. Ang ilan sa maaaring maging epekto nito sa atin ay pagkabulag, pagkabingi at pagkapipe. At ang ilan sa pinaka-extreme na epekto nito ay maaaring makasira ng ating atay, ng ating baga, at ng ating utak. Before you proceed on answering your learning task, let's have a quick recap of what you have learned from today's lesson. Number one, you have learned the different factors that cause poor environmental sanitation. These are overpopulation and the different types of pollution such as air, water, and land pollution. You also learn the different disorders and diseases as an impact of poor environmental sanitation. Now, let's reflect on the following questions. First, how will you relate your current learning in our present situation? Second, does poor environmental sanitation plays a role in the spread of coronavirus? And third, as a learner, what can you do to help stop the spread of this virus? Share your thoughts in our group chat and join the open forum class. Kindly of get your module on Health 6, Quarter 3, Week 1. For today's lesson, you are tasked to answer three activities. For each activity, I will be reading the instruction first. After that, you are tasked to read the instruction to better understand it. Here is activity number one. Put a check if the disease mentioned is caused by poor sanitation and across if it is not. Now it's short time to read. Here's activity number two.
For activity number two, each item shows someone who got sick because of poor sanitation. Draw a triangle if there is a relationship between the poor sanitation and the sickness and a square if they have no relationship at all. Now, it's your time to read the instruction. And finally, here's activity number three. Here's the instruction for activity number three. Sanitation affects our health. Identify the problem shown in each picture. Write your answer on the space provided below the picture. Now, it's your time to read. After this video lesson, you will be given an ample time to answer these activities. Good luck! And that ends our lesson for today. I hope that you have enjoyed and learned new things from watching this video. If you have questions and clarification, can we send them in in our group chat by messenger. You can also send your question through text message. But before I end this video, let me give you some friendly reminders. Always stay at home, practice proper hygiene, eat healthy and nutritious food, follow safety protocols and guidelines, and most importantly, pray to God that this pandemic will end soon. Once again, I am Teacher Tony. Until we meet again, happy learning and God bless. Goodbye!